wait, why is 0 factorial equal to 1? That doesn't make sense, or does it? Well, let me show you a cool pattern that proves it. Let's look at factorials we know. So, you know, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? But I know we can represent the whole of this with what? 4 factorial. Because 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, let's rewrite this. 5 factorial as 4 factorial. And when you do the calculation, you are going to get 120. And 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 factorial, which is equal to 24. Now, 3 factorial is what? 3 times 2 factorial, which is equal to 6. And then 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 factorial, which is equal to 2. Now, 1 factorial is equal to 1 times, now it becomes 0 factorial. So here is where the magic happens. So we have 1 factorial is equal to 1 times 0 factorial, right? But we are looking for what 0 factorial is. So we can simplify this. But we know 1 factorial is equal to 1, right? So we have 1 equals 1 times 0 factorial. So to find the value of 0 factorial, we can divide both sides by 1, okay? So 1 cancels 1. Then you'll be left with 0 factorial is equal to 1 over 1. So 0 factorial is therefore equal to 1. Mind blown? Like and share this with someone who needs to see this. And follow me for more cool math tricks.